Good morning, third graders. This is take three for me, okay? You wanna know why? Because I didn't read the directions. I didn't read the directions like I always tell y'all to do. So let me just take my own advice, okay? Here we go. This is your lesson for Monday. Get with me on page 172, please. On page 172, we are gonna be talking about compound sentences. And what a compound sentence is, is it's two simple sentences joined by a comma and a conjunction. All right, so here we go. Let's look at the example. Wagon Wheels by Barbara Brenner is set in the Old West comma, and it tells the story of three brothers. All right, if you were to break this compound sentence apart, you would have two simple sentences, and they would read, Wagon Wheels by Barbara Brenner is set in the Old West, period. It tells the story of three brothers, period. Those are two simple sentences, but if we want to make our writing more complex and more sophisticated, we would turn it into a compound sentence by adding the comma and the conjunction, okay? Let us look at our exercises. Exercises one, two, and three. Now, exercise one says rewrite the sentence, all right? Let's go ahead and rewrite the sentences and follow the directions like always. All right, here we go. Laura Ingalls Wilder was born in Wisconsin in 1867, but she grew up mostly in the Prairie States. Okay, the way that we are gonna turn this into a compound sentence is by adding a comma before the word but. All right, that lets your reader, a comma lets your reader know that you kinda take a quick pause before you move on and it makes the sentence more understandable to read. I'm gonna reread it with the comma this time. Laura Ingalls Wilder was born in Wisconsin in 1867, comma, but she grew up mostly in the Prairie States, period. All right, so that is number one. You will write the other sentences. Let's look at exercise two. Join the sentence from column A with the one in column B. To make it a compound sentence, you're gonna add a comma and a conjunction. So let's look at number one. Tommy De Paolo writes books, comma, and he draws the pictures too. So you have taken two simple sentences, you have made a compound sentence by adding a comma and the word and. Okay, there we go. Let's look at exercise three. Again, it says rewrite the sentences and add commas for a series, names in direct address, and compound sentences. Whoa, we're having to do three skills here that we've been practicing. So don't thrush through this exercise. Please go ahead and take your time. So number one, Alice, comma, Please tell me about your favorite books, period. All right, we put a comma after Alice because that was a what? You tell me. Yes, it was a direct address. We were speaking directly to someone. When you do that, you add a comma after because you put a pause there. Okay, think about when your parents talk to you and they say, hey, Susie, go clean your room. They take a little pause after they say your name because they wanna make sure that they have your attention. Same thing here. Okay, then you'll look at the rest of them. You will look at number two. Again, be very, very careful. You wanna make sure that you're using your commas correctly for direct address, for what was the other one? Commas in a series and to make your compound sentences. Okay, so you've got this. All right, we're not doing any practice book and that is because your Voyages workbook, get with me on this, it has two pages covering compound sentences. So if you look at pages 112 and 113, it'll be going over the same skills that we just went over in the textbook, okay? Look at the first exercise. Add a comma where it is needed in each sentence. I'll do number one with you. Kevin wanted the job, comma, but he did not get it, period. We just made that into a compound sentence by adding a comma. Let's look at the next section. Rewrite each pair of sentences as a compound sentence add a comma and the word and or but to join the sentences. Let's look at number one. My sister enjoys singing, comma, but I prefer dancing, period. Okay, that is how we would correct that sentence. Let's look at page 113. Rewrite each pair of sentences as a compound sentence. So what they've done here is they've written two simple sentences. So what you'll do is you'll add a comma, a conjunction, and then a lowercase letter, of course, be for that second simple sentence because you're not gonna have a capitalized word, she, right in the middle of the sentence, okay? So let's look at number one. Lily tried on the dress, comma, but she didn't buy it, period. 
That's how we'll do that. Do the rest. And the last exercise, add commas where they are needed for a series, a name and a direct address, or a compound sentence. So again, these are practicing the same skills that we just went over in the textbook. So go ahead and do what the directions ask you to, but I will go over one with you. Pablo, comma, where is your report? Question mark. All right. The very last section says complete each short, short sentence, then combine them into a compound sentence. So what you'll be doing is you will be creating two simple sentences, then you will use those two simple sentences to make a compound sentence. All right? The only other thing that you have to do today is religion. Pages 171 through 173, you'll read it and whatever exercises are on there, go ahead and do it. Y'all have a wonderful day. Can't wait to talk to you tomorrow.